Hey guys, Ryan Riggs of Death Metal here. Do uh, something a little different. I'm going to do a little unboxing here. Um, this is a custom pickup set from Matt over at Widdershins uh, Pickups. Matt, I hope I, uh, I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I went ahead and took it out of the initial packaging, but you guys are going to check this out with me the first time. Let's see. A cool note here from Matt. Just a thank you and some specs. This is the Cauldron Humbucker set. Let me see. Moderate to high output. Uh, Alnico 2 magnets. Short P90 height. Tons of low end on tap. Lots of growl. And designed and manufactured in house. Sweet. Thank you. And what we got here? Okay. Got a uh, wiring diagram here. Definitely need that because I am an idiot. Um, and the flip side is a thank you note. It's nice. Nice presentation. Thank you for your purchase from Widdershins Guitars. The decision to support my small business means a lot to me. Put a lot of thought, care, and attention into my products, and I hope that passion is evident as you use your new gear. Uh, and then email. Sweet. Oh, here's some values here. Let's see. Okay. Just trying to see if I could find the output on on this anywhere. Eh, it don't matter. Let's see, <laughs> cool sticker. Got some pickup screws and springs. Got this uh, cool business card here. And the pickups themselves. Nicely wrapped. My box, bubble wrap. I've seen pictures of these on Matt's Instagram. You actually get to look at them in person. And of course, we had to do them in the Rigs of Death Metal green and black. Uh, obviously, these are rail pickups. Even did a, uh, Matt did a custom green base plate just to keep everything matching that is so cool that's awesome uh my original plan with these hang on a second let me get the bridge out here too yeah bridge and neck both the black and green zebra sick Ta-da! Thank you, Matt. These look amazing. Um, there's a couple different guitars I could put this in, but I've had a project guitar in wait for a while now, and I'll throw in a uh, B-roll shot here, but go ahead and uh, get a little chuckle out of the paint job here. But it's a BC Rich Eagle. Um... I think you can find these for around three, four hundred bucks. You know, nothing super high end, but I definitely have played way worse guitars. Uh, the neck is actually pretty decent on this, and I did a setup and string change on it forever ago. But the pickups are horrible. Um, honestly, uh, just gonna do, gonna strip this Evan Williams graphic off of here, and. Um, Depending on what the wood looks like, I may or may not do a stain and then a clear coat back over it, either a natural finish or with a stain. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to put the Widdishins into uh, this guy here because uh, I've always loved the BCR Eagle um, since watching like bands like Cephalic Carnage and uh, 
uh, Mark Rizzo from Soulfly. Uh, seen both those guys, you know, tearing up Eagles, and I just I always thought they looked cool. Kind of has a little bit of a like a twisted Paul Reed Smith, Les Paul kind of vibe. But um, so yeah, uh, there will be a follow up video at some point. Um, I'm gonna try to go ahead and start work on this today. And uh, however long it takes me to get this project underway, uh, that's when you will see the follow-up video. But I just wanted to kind of do this unboxing because uh, I, I appreciate Matt making these and getting these out to me so quickly. Uh, I'd love to just go ahead and pop them in something today, but uh, this is just a project I've wanted to do for... I've had this thing uh, sitting around for a few years now. And uh, yeah, this is something I want me and my... Uh, my eight-year-old to work on together. Uh, just a little father-son project. So stay tuned for the results. And uh, I don't know, leave a comment down below. Um, see if I ought to leave this natural with a clear coat or should I do a matching scheme of like just a gloss black and maybe get some green dots or something. Some Try to find some powder-coated hardware or I don't know. Give me some ideas. But uh, thanks for checking that, checking out this little video. Um, I probably won't make a habit of unboxing videos. I don't, I don't know if people even really like them anymore. Maybe you do. Let me know down below as well if you think this is cool or this is kind of a failed experiment. Uh, regardless, keep an eye out for the follow-up video. I'm, I'd like to have it out in the next month, but... I'm a busy guy, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See ya.